Hi, I'm Jess Itali Lincoln, educator and designer for Vintage. I'm super excited about this new die set we have with Sizzix. We came up with bezel framelits, and these are dies that are meant to go with our Vintage Natural Brass bezels. They cut the exact interior shape of our bezels, so we have three different sets, cut circles, squares, and an eclectic set that cuts different shapes. You can create beautiful mixed media jewelry, memory jewelry, and a whole bunch of different projects using these dies. This is one of the most exciting things that I love designing with right now. Now that I prepped my images and tiled them on the computer and printed on a matte photo paper, I'm going to show how to cut this out and you know, create this photo image with melt art. So I'm going to prep my bezel. This is the bamboo bezel and I just have a little bit of hand sanitizer, just removing any dirt or oils from your hands from the surface of the bezel. <clears throat> Clean it up just a little bit. Okay, and now to cut out, I'm going to use this colored image here. And I have, in the machine, I have our solo platform and solo shim, a solo thin die adapter and one clear cutting pad. Go ahead and place these images in there. And I'm going to use this large circle from our circles framelit set. And just feel for the raised side that cuts. I'm gonna place that side down over my image. So I have about right in here. And now I'm just gonna add that second clear cutting pad. ahead and run this through the machine one time. Now that this is cut to the size of this bamboo bezel, I'm going to prepare the surface and seal it before putting the melt art in. So what I like to do is I actually use a distress ink. This is vintage photo is the color. And I like to ink the edges of the image because when you cut something out, you see the white edge of the paper, and then this gives us this even more of an aged old photo look, which is neat. So I'm just using this foam applicator and really just lightly dabbing along the edges, working down. And you can see that's kind of framing out the photo and giving that really neat old vintage photo look to it. Okay, and then to seal the paper to avoid ink from bleeding while you're doing your melt art, I'm just going to use Mod Podge. I have matte Mod Podge and I'm going to use that as a sealer. So <clears throat> what you do is just apply a few thin coats. So I'm just using a flat tip paintbrush and I'm just brushing right over the image. And you want to allow Mod Podge to dry like 15-20 minutes between each coat and I apply at least minimum of two up to you know, three or four thin coats per side. So, you know, I'm gonna apply it to my printed side, let it dry, apply again a few more coats, let it dry, and then flip it over, and you're gonna also apply to your back side. Another option to speed up drying time is you could use a heat it craft tool. If you were to use this to heat, you just wanna keep it a really good distance away, because to avoid bubbling and the paper from curling too much, but you can also do that as well. So you can use that too, just to speed it up a little bit. So I have a piece here that I did prep. So this has been sealed multiple times on each side. So this is ready for the melt art. Before putting this in the melting pot, I'm just gonna use a reliefing block just to highlight the edges of this bezel frame. It really kind of accentuates the design even more with that lightened brass. So I'm gonna place the bezel inside the melting pot it's set to the UT setting, and I have a project craft sheet inside. And I'm gonna start off by just using a small measuring spoon and applying some UT to the base of the bezel and allowing that to melt. This layer of UT that I applied inside the bezel first, it's kind of working as an adhesive or a layer so that way when I place this photo in there it has something to stick to and it just won't go underneath and raise it up. So now I'm going to set this inside. So again my um, loop here is at the top so I just want to make sure that I have my image set in correctly. And I just have a pair of chain nose pliers here that I 
place that in with and I could kind of go around the edges and push it down. Some of that UD is coming up around the edges a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead with a layer on top. With the back of this um, measuring spoon, I'm just kind of pushing it around a little bit just to flatten it out so it can melt around the image there. And sometimes you may get a few bubbles. For the most part, you don't. But if you do, you could use a toothpick or the tip of a metal awl and just kind of pop those while it's melting to remove them. You could see here how fast it's melting and you're just going to apply more to get it all the way around the edges. So here I have some areas where I need to add a little bit more on the edges. I'm trying to avoid the frame as much as possible, but if you do over pour, that's fine because you could just do it around the whole entire bezel and then it's like one coated piece, which is pretty. Okay, so we're almost done here. And I do have the lid of the melting pot on the back of the pot, that's keeping this level so it's not over pouring. So that's something that is a good tip to level out your melting pot. Okay, so I'm gonna lift these tabs here and gently remove this from the pot off to the side. And I'm just gonna use this metal awl to slide it to a clean surface to cure. And this is gonna give you a kind of a really cool vintage looking bezel.